Hey guys, Master Max back here, and today we have another video on agrarian skies. So, if you guys don't know, I redid my computer, and so we didn't save the um agrarian skies. So now we're gonna be starting new. I have done the first like starting quest. So I'll show you what they are. Um, I did this one, which is just getting wood and doing this stuff. And these three, and that's all I've done. And I realized I should probably be doing this with you guys. So, this is my setup so far. Um, so, yeah. There isn't much I can do right now except open the quest bag. Boom! Fireworks. And boom! Yes! Blackberry juice and cherry jelly hmm usage <laughs> you can make peanut butter and jelly sandwich wow okay well that's pretty good it's not the best but only because of that and yeah so here we are um if you guys haven't heard this um, here, here's a little thing that goes on with it. So here you go. It has been a horrible 10 years. Code wizards meddled in the balance of nature and released hordes of monsters from other dimensions on an unsuspecting world. Not satisfied with just destroying the human life, the monsters rampaged across the world eating everything they could find and leaving nothing in their wake but empty void. The great mage trio Dusk, Vizwi, and Scott approached you with an offer. They had just enough power to protect your home and a small amount of land from the final devastation. In return for their protection, you agreed to collect the materials and resources the creators would need to remake the world once the hordes retreated back to the Hell Realms. The great trio cast their spell to protect you, while the magician way of flowing time forced the evil armies into submission and ordered them back to their dimensions. Upon waking up, you find that the creators, the Jaded One, and the Cute One have left a small amount of supplies to get you started. They apologize for not being able to give you more. If you complete the tasks assigned, you will receive more rewards to help you in your mission. It is up to you to recreate the world, to provide a home for the poor lonely creatures left alone and homeless, to repopulate the planet. To this end, the Jaded One has compiled a list of the many items and fluids that will be needed. This book will magically update your progress as you complete quests and may at times have new quests added if she sees she missed a requirement. To start, punch tree, get wood. Okay, so there we go with that. Um, I have punched trees and I have gotten wood. But right now, I am trying to get a silkworm. Which, if you don't know what a silkworm is, silk... This is a silkworm. It's right here. And what you can do with that is plant it on a tree and it will infest the tree. And then when you um, break the leaves with the crook, it will give you some string. Which you need string to continue on so then you can get things like sieves, fishing rods, and beds. So, yeah. And I'm just going to do one of the requirements, quote-unquote. And that is to make a wood hammer. There. There we go. Um, let's go and chop some more wood. Because right now, we're, I'm just using the crook to try and get a silkworm. Which, the crook also gives you a lot of saplings and apples and stuff. And that's also very important because with the um, saplings, you need to compost those in a barrel. So then you can get dirt. Yes, I got a silkworm. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So now let's go chop down that tree. And I will show you how to use the silkworm. So you can get some dirt you 
come over. I'm just gonna. S nah, that's too close to that. Right there. Yeah. Build that. Place the silkworm. Now you have these infested leaves. And over time, they will start to infest all the other leaves and make it so that they will just have be infested. And when you break them with a the crook, you get string. So, yeah. Alright, never mind on that. There. Um. But also, there there is one thing that Jig Cat, the um, creator of this, had kind of intended for us to have to do. Because, like, um, how do you say that? Um, when you, like, the entire process of getting all the quests and stuff, they, like, go through ages. Like, the first age, wood age, where right now it's basically... Um, chopping wood and then next stage is like stone age where you can start getting materials and then you get more into the industrial age where you can make machines to automate that aka getting like for me I would get more into thermal thermal expansion which there's a lot of stuff here like also getting this is one thing that I like getting a lot of is blazing pyrothelium because it gives lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of energy. Ooh, what's this? How, how do you make that? Oh, I can't get that. Knitter. What the heck? Hmm. It looks really complicated. Very complicated. How do you get. Hmm. But yeah, I'm just gonna stay with Blazing Pyrothuium. But yeah, so uh, as you can see, it's actually started to infest it. Here, here's a uh, almost totally infested leaves, and it's just slowly but surely spreading. Um. So yeah. Let's see. Oh, barrel. And this is how you can make dirt out of saplings. If you watch closely, it starts to turn darker and darker and darker until it gets to this dirt color. Because it's composting. So, yeah. Oh, and so right now, I'm probably after I end this episode... I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff off camera, cause for the wood age, it's basically chopping wood and getting string. And then also for the stone age, which I'll probably do an episode of after I've gotten a bunch of dirt and stuff. Um. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. So, but um, you can. Um. What was I just gonna say? I have no clue what I was just going to say. It'll come back to me later. But th this is how you make dirt. Cause then. Oh yeah, you got dirt. So yeah. Um, let's chop some more wood. Oh yeah, and if you're starting for agrarians, guys, and you want to know a little tip. See this dirt block? Break it. Dirt chest 9,000. And it had seven dirt in it. And what's funny about the dirt chest 9000, so you get a chest and surround it in dirt, then you get the dirt chest 9000. And it comes with its own manual. Hmm. How funny. But, yeah. So, let's see. Are there any other quests we can do? Go with the flow? First quest. So oh, we need tanks. There's no way we can do that. For the hoarding. How do we get barrels? Structural MK1. Storage upgrade. Can can we get barrels? We can. Barrels, but what about the MK? What oh, things we can get that? What was the other thing? 
storage upgrade. Store. Storage upgrade. Ah, oh, dang pistons. Poopo. Never mind, we can't do that quest either. Oh, dang. <laughs> dang it, dang. So it doesn't look like there's really anything for us to do. But this is going to be a, a short ish episode. I think I'm going to end it off in like five minutes after I chop down a couple more trees. Only because, well, I'm in the wood age and there's nothing really to do that's entertaining. Oh, something that I figured out. What the heck? You can also place dirt. Oh, it has to. What the heck? So, any block that is next to the axe, you can apparently place. That's cool. Jeez, yeah. But, yeah. So, anyway, guys. I'm gonna end it off. Here, I think. Yeah, probably. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed, please comment um, on what I should do. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and rate. But thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.